In this video, we will learn the assembly process of a transformer. Friends, if you want continuous video, then click the bell icon and subscribe to Let's Grow Up. Let's start. Core. It is made up of soft iron or silicon steel materials. The iron core is made of thin metal strips and insulated from each other by insulating varnish coating. The thickness of the transformer core laminations is usually in the order of 0.25 mm to 0.5 mm. Core clamps. Steel frame is used to hold all the laminations of the core so that during working of transformer the laminations remain braced against heavy electromagnetic forces, produced due to varying flux in the core. Core insulation. The core is insulated from the grounded mechanical structures. Primary winding or low voltage winding is always placed inner side of core. Windings are electrically insulated from each other through insulation material. Copper and aluminum, both conductors are used in transformer windings. The winding also insulated by insulation material. Insulation. High voltage winding or secondary winding is placed above the low voltage winding. Main tank cover. Cover is fitted with the core frame. Low voltage bushing or connector. The transformer bushing is an insulating structure that facilitates the passage of an current carrying conductor through the grounded tank of the transformer. High voltage bushing or connector. Conservator tank. It is a small tank, which is used in high power transformers. It is connected above the main tank of the transformer. It has a cylindrical shape. Main tank and conservator tank are connected to each other through a pipe. Breather. Breather is a device which is used for breathing of transformer. Its mean air goes in or out from the transformer with the help of a breather. Buckholtz Relay. It is placed over the connecting pipe that runs from the main tank to the conservator tank. The Buckholtz Relay senses the faults occurring within the transformer. Explosion Vent. It is used to expel boiling oil in the transformer during heavy internal faults. In order to avoid the explosion of the transformer, the oil rushes out of the vent. Main tank. It is a steel box. Transformer core is placed inside this tank. Windings and other helpful devices are placed inside this tank. It is filled with insulating oil mineral oil. Radiator. The radiator of the transformer accelerates the cooling rate of the transformer. Thus, it plays a vital role in increasing loading capacity of an electrical transformer.
Finally, oil filling. When voltage goes up or down, the temperature of the transformer's windings increases, oil is used to cool down the condition. It acts as an insulator between the windings. It increases the resistance between them and avoids short circuit. Friends, help us to share this video link.